Welcome back to RG Geek. So crazy news, Daytona USA 2 is finally available to play at home on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Steam for 50 euros, but free for Game Pass subscribers. So the weird thing is you can't search for Daytona USA 2 for two reasons. First of all, it seems the rights to the Daytona name have expired. And secondly, it's embedded within the game Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. So I guess you could say it's sort of like Daytona USA 2's name was erased, and that's kind of fitting. Firstly, I think this game is great. You've got an amazing uh, Japanese mafia story with action, which you'd probably enjoy if you tend to like beat em up games like, uh, let's say, Final Fight or Ninja Turtles. And even if you don't like such games, you only have to play about an hour to be able to unlock the um, arcade where you can play Sega Classic Racing 2, which is basically a rebranded Daytona USA 2. And Like a Dragon also has an easy difficult mode, but even on medium I found it pretty easy. But if you just want to rush through, you can get the arcade open in about an hour and uh, play to your heart's content. Please select a race course. Advance. Please select the level of the car. Normal level car. Please choose manual or automatic. automatic. Gentlemen, start your engines. The course is Watch that red line on the tack. There's a crash coming out of turn three. Watch yourself. Time extension. You can take them. What's also incredibly cool is that this game's also available on PC Game Pass or for subscribers of Game Pass Ultimate. So you can also play it on a handheld PC like the ROG Ally here. You just have to download it from the Xbox app on Windows. This game also has Xbox Anywhere, so your cloud states migrate effortlessly between Xbox and PC. The game supports three tracks and one mega track, which is kind of like a track combining all three of the other tracks. And you can choose between four cars. I'm excited to finally have access to this game after all these years, and the whole game seems fully authentic, although I always have to wonder how much of the game's been modified since the rights expired. I'm also kind of annoyed about how video game licenses work, because old movies are still viewable even with old music content ads. You never hear about that expiring. In any case, I'm very grateful that at least the gameplay is intact, and I hope you all have a great time playing this classic. So once you're in the arcade, just jump into the game using virtual currency. Just need to find Sega Classic Racing 2.
And don't worry, you shouldn't have to pay anything, because uh, after you played for about an hour, you should have plenty of virtual currency to play to your heart's content. Although I personally recommend making a save state here, so you can just go straight back into the game and uh, not spend any of your virtual money in case you want to play the game as well. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with your Daytona loving friends, and I'll see you next time on RG Geek. Please select the race course. Sharon, please select the level of the car. Normal level car. Choose manual or automatic transmission. Automatic. Gentlemen, start your engines. The course is Fourteen. Game over!